we're going to be looking at today is a special challenge of the topic we'll actually be deriving the formula for centripetal acceleration so if you've ever wondered where this formula comes from now is the chance for you guys to actually derive that so my challenge is called acceleration at a constant speed we have a particle which moves in a circle from point p1 to point p2 in a time interval delta t i'm going to assume that this time interval is quite small so let's just say that delta t is significantly smaller than the one so it's a, just a tiny number and we have some vector triangles which are being shown a couple of things to notice number one is that the magnitude of the speed remains the same so because we have a constant speed this v over here is has exactly the same magnitude as the speed on on point two the size of the vector is exactly the same therefore so v is the same as v however it's tilted at a different angle as the particle moves from position one to position two it sweeps out an angle which we've called theta now this triangle is actually similar to another triangle which we've constructed over here on the right we can see that um, in this similar triangle all we've done is we've moved some vectors around and in a way that we can find their sum which will be the change in velocity or their difference more accurately speaking so um, in this vector triangle you can see that uh, this vector here which is pointing just uh, just off the vertical that's actually this vector here uh, you can also see that let's use a different color for this one that the um, that this one over here our second speed which is just off the horizontal maybe about 10 or 15 degrees off the horizontal will be this vector over here now the challenge problem is to find the acceleration of the particle and i've got a hint use similar triangles find the arc length traveled how would that vary with time this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to solve this problem pause the video and really enjoy working on this uh, very very interesting problem So let's have a look at the solution to this problem. First of all, I'm just going to employ some properties of similar triangles. You're going to notice that the triangle, let's say, well, this one over here is actually a similar triangle to this one over here. Now there's a catch though. The time interval needs to be quite small because we're actually approximating this arc length. Uh, let's just call this arc length s to be a straight line which is approximately true if the time interval is very very small so we're just going to assume that s is just a the arc length is just a straight line now let's apply some of the properties of similar triangles if we look at our triangle over here on the on the right uh, this is going to have the same ratio of its sides compared to the other triangle on the left now in other words this means that delta v over v is going to be exactly the same as s over r so now all i need to do is just rearrange for s so my arc length s that's going to be delta v divided by v multiplied by r the reason why i'm rearranging for s is because i'm interested in how s varies with time in other words the velocity now it's also worth remembering that my arc length in this case this is the actual displacement of the particle as it moves along there uh, that's going to be equal to my velocity multiplied by the time which in this case is delta t so this is going to be equal to delta v over v multiplied by r now what we're looking for is our acceleration the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so i'm just going to rearrange for delta v and delta v is going to equal v squared times delta t and i need to bring the r on the other side so this will be divided by r so i'm almost there i'm just going to bring this delta t 
over onto the other side and what I'm going to get is that delta V over delta T is equal to V squared divided by R. Well hang on a minute, this is the rate of change of velocity which is my acceleration. So the acceleration that a particle moving in a circle that they will experience moving from point one to point two is equal to V squared over R and we've managed to prove the formula for centripetal acceleration. Okay folks, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and please consider subscribing.